Okay, we're live. Hi. We're live. This is really <laughs> cool and exciting. Um, this is Google Hangout, uh, Google Plus. Uh, we're in Israel in the Under Me studio mm -hmm. with the gorgeous, the supermodel, the. Hey. No. Hi. <laughs> uh, there's a lot to say. Well, hi. We're here with uh, six people that um, are with us here. We have three cool oh, fashion oh, bloggers oh, and we have three oh, fans. Uh, that are all here to talk to Bar. We are, as I said, in the Under Me studio. New collection, there's a lot to talk about. Mm -hmm. So the first question that comes to my mind is, you know, I've seen you in amazing lingerie and many different shoots. And um, when you decided to do underwear, you went very basic. Yeah. Explain to me why. Um, I felt there's, there's a need. I felt, well, two reasons. First of all, I felt there's a need because that's what I like to wear. That's what I feel comfortable in. Um, of course, I like the sexy, you know, um, lacy type of things every now and then, not every day, and especially not when you're on the go and you travel. Girls, you feel me? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I wanted stuff that would feel like second skin, stuff that I can sleep in and walk around the house with and, and, and have under my clothes and, and just feel comfortable. So that's the first need. And then... Um, I felt the desire to do something, and I'm very known to be a lingerie, underwear type of girl, so I did the kind of underwear that I like. So what's new? We have a bunch of things that are new. First of all, we started off, um, we started under me with uh, just very, very basic uh, t-shirts and underwear and little boxers and, and tank tops that are, came only in white, black, and gray. And we had the huge success, and a lot of people liked it. And the biggest request we had from people that um, that bought our products, they wanted more stuff. They wanted more colors, and they wanted more variety of of um, designs. So, so we came me. up. Okay, so we came up with a pink. Woo! We came up with with, uh, with orange with um, um, little blues that are so cute. This is my. Pajamas, by the way. If anyone was wondering what I'm sleeping in, this is what I sleep with. Ooh, okay. And the man's T-shirt, which this is the new color, and that's that's my dad's. Yeah, modeling it. That's my I'm dad's requirement, <laughs> requirement, because that's his favorite color. So yeah. That's my pajamas, that's nice and also color. for men, there's new type of underwear. Um, yeah, but the biggest yes. new thing that we have yes. is uh, we have an icon. Because until now, we went really, really basic, okay. really simple, 100% cotton, very basic um, uh, cuts. And we came up with an icon that will be symbolized with us. And it's very low key. So if, let's say if on the t-shirt, mm -hmm. notice this. It's in the back on the side. Ah, oh, it's, it's cute. It's a yeah, little hidden. Excellent. Okay, well, what does Very it mean? Cute. What it means is, um, so I wanted to do something with a question mark. Because okay. I feel it's, you know, everything in life, you never know. You can never be sure on anything. It's a way of, of looking at life, like, is a one big question mark. And just go for it and, and, and dive, you know, head first. And my best friend, who, who passed away a few years ago, ha um, had a tattoo of a question mark on his ankle. So I said, in memory of him, I have to use the question mark. So we did um, the oh, little... Oh, that's cute. Yeah. That's yeah. so cute. Yeah. So I feel like uh, it's, it's a very private type of... Um, element that I had to, to use. I see you're very involved, I mean, emotionally and the ideas, um, it's really important to you. Yeah, I mean, it's my first business. It's, um, it's something that I always wanted to do. I always wanted to do something that has to do with fashion and underwear and, and do stuff that I like. And uh, of course, I do the designs, and I, I I have my inputs on the colors and the location of the icons, and even if it's you know the lace in the underwear, so I choose the lace and I choose everything so it would feel 100% like me. Extremely cool. Thank you. So now let's go to 
hearing questions from you. We're going to start yeah. with fashion blogger Martina from Italy, who has the blog Deeply Diva. Hey, Martina. Hi. Hi, Var. Thank you. Wow, Hi. Martina, you're beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. I have <laughs> you a too, weakness. Of I have a weakness for big white teeth, and I'm. Um, wow. <laughs> I need to Thank go to your dentist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I am a, a fashion and a beauty blogger, and I have asked to my followers uh, what they uh, want to ask you. So I have some questions uh, about beauty, especially. If there is no, if, if for you is not a problem, I want to ask you, please, uh, which is your favorite makeup product and why? And which is your favorite moisturizer and your favorite? Skin foundation. These are the three most question, most voted question. Okay. So I wash my face and I lotion my face with Aveda products because it's it's all natural and either that or Origins. I feel like I travel so much and I change uh, weather so much and in planes it's really not very good for your skin and my skin is often very dry so I felt like my gift to my skin would be to use all natural um, so I, I'm a big believer in that and then the foundation I use um, is either Lancome or NARS I like both but I have the, my biggest secret in life is my concealer because if you use my concealer you don't need base which is? Which is? Okay. Tell me a brand. And it's very hard to find, but it's Clé de Peau. Oh. That's my favorite. Yeah, it really? Yeah. I Clé swear de Peau, they have only three shades, but they go with every skin tone and every color, and they're unbelievable. You don't need powder after, and you don't need base before. Oh, can you repeat me the brand? Excuse me? Clé de Peau. Is it French? Oh, it's French. French. Yes. Do you know... Who said knows how to use it? Amanda, you use it? Yes. Do you and know how foundation. to spell it? Yeah, there you I go. I did. I just typed it into the chat. Oh, okay, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, thank you very much, Martina. Thank you, thank Martina. You thank you. Let's uh, let's hear a question from a fan mm -hmm. now. Uh, okay, let's uh, have a question from um, Lindsay. Give me Lynn. <laughs> Elaine Lindsay. Elaine. Oh, that's okay, Jason. Uh, that happens all the time. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Um, Bar, thanks very much for hosting this. This is uh, amazing. Thank I you. really like what you've done with this very basic line, but it's basic in a way that it's super, super comfortable, like nice fabrics. I, my question to you is, if you weren't doing modeling originally, and I think you pretty much answered, what was the one other career you would have chosen? You'll be surprised. First of all, where are you from, Elaine? I'm in Ottawa, Canada. Amazing. Um, I bet it's cold. Uh, actually, it's not. It's uh, about it's 59 degrees here today. It's really not bad. Okay. Sorry, I'm lying to you. Actually, it's 68 degrees right now. Oh wow, that's a big difference. It is a big difference. Yeah. Um, so, Elaine, to your question, you'll be very surprised. But um, whomever follows me on uh, Google Plus and Instagram saw today, and this will be the place to, to give the answer, saw um, my picture in a recording studio today. Yeah. And my real, real big dream was to be a singer. Yeah. I'm saying was because about six months ago I came to term, to term with the... Um, very devastating fact that it would never happen. <laughs> Don't think why not. Really bad? Um, I'm okay, but like I wanted to be the next Beyonce if mm. I could. And um, Beyonce, your place out there is guaranteed. I'm not going to take over. <laughs> I'm not that good. Yeah, so that would be my, my ultimate um, desired career. That's a cool, surprising answer. Thanks Thank so you very much, much for giving us that. That's important. That's very really cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Elaine. Okay, let's now move to Imran from the UK, Business of Fashion. That's your blog. You have a question Hello. for Bar? Hi. Hi. Um, 
Bar, we met uh, about a year ago when I was in Israel with uh, Dorit Bar Or. No. It, oh my God! I was dancing with you. Exactly. <laughs> you were dancing on the tables. It's nice to see you again. Uh, was I singing? I bet you I was singing. You were singing. Uh, it was. Uh, it was a long night. Uh, Dodo showed us a good night. Um, yeah, she's the best. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, one of the one of the things we cover on, on my website is how fashion brands have been using social media and the internet to communicate, engage their customers, and obviously transact with their customers. And I was just curious about the thinking and strategy behind the launch of, of Under Me with regards to technology. I mean, you're doing this Google Plus, uh, this Google Hangout, you've got you're selling, I think you're only selling uh, the product online and you're doing a lot of social media to support the communication around a launch of Under Me. So I was wondering if you could just share with us the thinking behind that. Um, well, let's just say that at the, at the be if, let's go back and in the very beginning the reason why I started Twitter um, was for this purpose because I knew that I would want to do some kind of business um, that was obviously going to do with fashion, but I, I'm going to create something, and I wanted to be, I wanted it to be big. So I started the social network because I said this is an incredible idea. This opportunity that um, the, the media, online media, gives us today is is insane. I mean, it's it's free advertisement, it's free publicity. So I started Twitter and raised my followers, and then I opened uh, Google+, Plus, which even gave me more followers, and then Instagram. It's just everything together, and I actually enjoy it. I mean, it started from a, a business point of view, but then I'm addicted. And I just believe that that's the next generation. People today um, are online most of the time. They're with their uh, phones, they're with their laptops, with their um, iPads, they're, they're, all, they're online. So there's no better way to sell stuff than to advertise it where they hang out, right? which is on the net. And what's your, what's your favorite, like how do you use the different um, tools? So you talked about Google Plus and Twitter and Instagram. I mean, each one of them has different elements to it. Is there, is there a way you use them differently? Um, I think that, you know, Instagram and Twitter, I mostly upload pictures and as well as Facebook and, and, and Google Plus, but I think that Google Plus came up with this amazing Hangout idea that as soon as I, I heard about it, I said I, I must be a part of it because this is um, a, a, just a, a breakthrough in the communicating communicating world because up until now I could upload a picture um, I could answer if time allowed me to some people out of the thousands you know it's just it's so hard and with this I said I mean of course if you can video chat with people that follow me and not just press like it's I would do it once a week if I could yeah it really takes things to the next level anyway thanks a lot for that and uh, good luck with the launch Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Imran. Uh, let's let's move on to another fan. This is an Israeli voice. Hello, <laughs> Shalom, Ifat. Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. Finally, Hi. they pronounced my name correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Bar. Hi. Um, so my question is actually: You started out as a model, and then um, not a singer, and then an actress, and now you're a businesswoman. So how? What was the hardest of all, and what? And tell me about the process, like moving from modeling to a business owner. That's kind of um, big jump. First of all, I'm very proud that you have such good English <clears throat> for the Israelis that are watching. Uh -huh, I like it. Um, <laughs> so. I tend to do things um, in, in a in a very organic and natural way, and I tend to not push um, push things that I don't believe in or I don't feel comfortable with. So, if I started modeling when I was fourteen, uh, when I when I was fourteen, I didn't do things that I didn't feel comfortable with. Um, and when I was sixteen, and then when I was eighteen, I felt comfort more comfortable to model in a way that I didn't when I was 15. So it's just I did things in my own time and whenever I felt like they're um, 
they're necessary. And with with business, it just came about in the exact right time because I did so many campaigns for people and I model for other people all the time and um, I'm always interested in reading the contract and, and the small letters and understanding how it works and I already know you know how to um, make um, a contract and what needs to be in it and what's not and what's not fair and what is fair and, I just felt like with the, um, um, with the experience that I have um, with fashion, that I kind of know what people want, what feels comfortable, what fabrics are more, you know, are better for us and, and less. And with the business side of it, I, I felt the need to create something. And um, then my business partner, Dudi, came to me with this idea and I said, oh my God, this is, it's like, um, it, it's the most perfect timing with the most perfect idea that is so suitable for me that I really believe in signs and I believe in, in timing. And I just said, I, I couldn't think about a better timing when I really feel it's right, when I'm leaning towards doing it anyways, and you come with this great idea. and the online and I just opened Twitter and it, it's just everything was in the right place in the right time and that's how I believe that um, good things happen. That's awesome so kind of life happens for you and you go with the flow more than kind of like you know what I'm gonna be Donald Trump one day and you know what's the business I'm gonna jump into to do that? Not at all. Um, you know, you, you need, always need to have dreams and, and aim somewhere, but um, my dreams are, are, are small in comparison to others, and I just, I, I always want to be the best I can, but I don't aim to places I don't think I, I can reach. I go one step after another after another. Yeah. Do you have time for another question? And, and now I can say something in Hebrew. Yes. yes. Can I say something in Hebrew? Yeah. <laughs> היי, יפה, אהבתי. אני צריך לחשוב איך לתרגם את זה לאנגלית עכשיו. זה אינטיפה, זה לא. לא, 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 It's a really good way of thinking. Thank you very much, Ifa. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you. Amanda now from the blog in the U.S., Fashion Indie. How are you, Amanda? I'm well. How are you? Hi. Hi. Thank Amanda, you for doing this I want to see what far. you're wearing. I see that red. I want to see. It reminds me of Christmas, the red and the green. I have like, I have like a little sweater. Oh, cute. Oh. <laughs> cute. Um, so... So you were saying before how, you know, the line is very basic, which is something that you felt was needed in the market. Mm -hmm. Do you, is there a specific piece that you started with? Is there a specific piece that is a favorite that you really thought was needed in your wardrobe? Um, yes. Let me see where it is. Yeah. I think I, I showed it before, but it's this one. It is so cute on. <laughs> and it's like I made the rubber so it doesn't, you know, sometimes it just goes deep and then you're a little fat and it doesn't matter how skinny you are, you would always have these and they come out and it just get pressure, it puts pressure and it leaves marks. So we put, we made the rubber so gentle and we made it, you know, the back is like not too small and not too big. It's like boyish, but it's still sexy. And that's what I felt because I really sleep with these every single night. So I had to like find them and if I found a store in New York that sells good briefs for women, I'd have to travel all the way to New York to buy new ones after a month and a half or two months. So I decided online, it goes straight to your house, I can subscribe and it comes. But 
I made a new piece. Ooh, Ooh I want to see yeah, it. Yeah, because this one I I wanted to make for so long, and I'll show you. So, yeah, it's this little cute. I don't know. I that is see nice. It very it's very well. nice. That's and it's very like thin spaghetti straps. Is it cotton? It's a uh, cotton modal. So oh, it's airing nice. and it breathes, but it's also very stretchy. But what's pretty about it, girls, is that <laughs> it has an inside bra. Oh, wow. Very wow. practical. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't feel comfortable walking around the house without a bra. I just feel like I'm. No. Yeah, so, I mean, this is sexy enough. You don't see the bra strap because you don't need one. It's thin, and then you just have the bra inside, and it's sexy and cute and comfortable. Very pretty. It's so cute. The line looks amazing. Yeah. Thank you. It's really exciting. Thank you. I'm very excited. I think we have one last question from Cornelius now. Cornelius no, we don't have that case. question. Cornelius is not here. I well, have one. Yeah, can, do we have time for one more question? Yeah, we do. Okay. Of course. Can I ask one? Yes, sure. sure Fat. So I'm actually pretty amazed with your understanding of Google Plus because many people don't get Hangouts and you know the fact that you actually engage better with your followers, but you have such a busy schedule. How do you manage your Twitter and your Google Plus and your Instagram? How do you do that? I'm thankful for that. It keeps me alive rather than I don't have to make time for it. I have to make out make time for life itself <laughs> besides social media because if I'm at a photo shoot or if I'm, you know, out in the street or I am um, traveling in airports and it just it gives me something to do. It, I'm alone most of the time. It makes me feel like I have a lot of people with me. It makes me feel like a lot of people want to know about what I do and where I am and I just believe I think it's so nice especially today when you know we have reality TV and, and people want to know about other people's life which is okay it's a very basic need and it's okay so why not give it to them but in a way that is comfortable for all sides um, I'm absolutely addicted that's awesome that's awesome <laughs> we are too <laughs> and that's really that's cool. awesome to hear. Can I say one thing, Jason? Sure. Sure. I, I just my eighteen year old granddaughter is going to be so thrilled to see your line because her complaints have always been everything's too frou frou, Grandma. I want I just want comfort. And that's what you're offering. You're I, appreciate that. Yeah. I know for an eighteen year old my 18 -year -old granddaughter. granddaughter. <laughs> I'm like, what? What's going on? You look amazing. <laughs> you do. I'm 57. You What's have, your concealer, uh, Elaine? Yeah, yeah, well, like, uh, <laughs> when you were 49, when they showed you a baby, okay, you yeah, had to no, be like 20 when you had your. Yeah, I have a 39 year old daughter and a 30 year old son. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, yeah, thank you very much. I would be very happy to hear um, comments. You know, I'm, I'm designing this for, for how comfortable it is for me and what I need, and I feel like. Um, after trying a lot in my life, I kind of represent what people really want. But, you know, if anyone has anything to say or if uh, there's a certain color that you feel is needed, we always read our online comments and we have um, a very good support and, and we always check. So any inputs would be very, very welcomed. We always like to hear and design stuff for the actual people that are buying it. Excellent to hear. Okay, now I'm sure that uh, you've seen them and the people viewing us. Um, uh, the whole launch of uh, Under Me has been followed by very, very um, sexy, arty videos. Mm -hmm. And I have a feeling you have a new one that we're going to premiere worldwide yep. right okay. here. Mm -hmm. You want to tell me something about it before? Um. We have two new ones this month, and the first one we decided to share here because everyone gathered here and we felt like um, it's the appropriate place uh, to reveal. Yeah, this one, um, we, did, we did a lot of videos that are very active and outdoorsy, and, um, uh, but still very basic. And this one, we wanted to do something a little more artistic something a little more saddle, something a little more that's hinting. Um, we wanted to try something different. Can't so, wait to see it. 
I mean, it still follows our under me very basic and simple, but let's see if you like it. Let's see if you like it. I'm not singing. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah, so it's a little great. I'm, I'm not supposed to be the sexy one in this video. <laughs> well, you are, but there's more to it. Who is that amazing dancer? She's an amazing dancer that um, the photographer actually found. And the whole idea was to think outside the box, to create something around under me, and not necessarily that I'm the, the focus of it, but still I'm there. And to show that the fabric is like a second skin and you can move in it and you can dance in it and it's just, it feels comfortable and um, you can even dance so beautifully in it. Yeah, dancers, you've got your next uh, wardrobe for your next show. Yeah. Amazing, really outside the box, really artistic. And you had to stand there for a while. I'm it was like, so difficult. I know. Man, How it did you was stand so on your toe for that long? Do you want me to tell you the secret? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can. Don't. We have got her to hear. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you, but someone will kill me. Um, <laughs> okay, so you know how the stops for the door that are like kind of um, yeah. triangle. A triangle, a triangle, you know, mm -hmm. a wooden triangle. So we made one with a bigger slip, slit. Very oh, small. Like yeah. like a heel angle. without the shoe. So like yeah. a yeah. angle, exactly, angle. a bigger angle. And um, I was just leaning on it. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said it. Yeah, you were like, it was like so oh, hard. Hard. but then I had a. You know, so I was why I was working in the gym for two weeks to make my like biceps. You and Natalie Portman. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I could. Yeah, actually, yeah. That, that's the story I'm going to sell from now on. I was going for the Black Swan lead, and then yeah, they said no. So I said, I'm just going to use the the practice for the new commercial. Wait, I want to I want to take a picture of us doing this and then I'll post it. Mm. All right? Ready? Wait. I want to see you guys. <laughs> okay, ready? With the flash, you want to do it again without the flash? Yes, I, I think it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Well, I think that's it. Um thank you everybody for joining us. Thank you everybody who's hanging out with us, everybody that viewed I hang out. Thank you, Balafaeli. Thank you. Thank you guys for your time. I'm I'm really honored and um thank you, really. We we'll see you on the stream. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you. And all the best with the company. You're you going too. To do that. Tell your granddaughter that um I like her grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Bar. I absolutely will. Thank you. Come to oh, London yeah. soon. We'll have another dancing day. Oh, I really hope so.